transplant surgeon. First of all you need to look at the doctor's experience. They need to have a good team. You need to look at the results they've produced in the past and of course the credentials. So for me I trusted Dr. Arambulo because she out of all the hair transplant surgeons in the Philippines is the only one who is a diplomat on the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery. He alone has had the most experience of hair transplant in the Philippines. So the message here is a board certified as a board certified dermatologist. When you see patients after this, uh, um, after our postgraduate course, is you complete the recommendation. Sani naman yung hair transplantation para hindi na sila mag-research. Because through a good procedure, uh, we can uh, the natural hair line um, and a hair transplant is a permanent result uh, that can be achieved, and this will. Uh, increase again and bring back the confidence in this patient. So hair restoration can be uh, a life-changing procedure. So just to show you the different concerns of all in male with androgenic alopecia, all are these are my patients and they had uh, hair transplantation as well as uh, in women. These are just some of the concerns. And then if you meet doctors, you usually want doctors, I'm like, I am doing that also. And then you look at the websites and some doctors are offering this, you know, this service. You will see some inaccurate terminology, inappropriate, inappropriate described as inappropriate and misleading. These uh, messages are universally unacceptable. So as fellow of the International Society of Hair Restoration <laughs> Surgery, I support the campaign. No, fight to fight because uh, to fight against uh, uh, black, uh, uh, illicit practices in this field. I pledge to perform hair restoration surgery legally and ethically. Since donor supply is limited, especially in young patients, proper scalp assessment and careful planning are important to reach the beneficial aesthetic result as in this patient. On this video, we are featuring follicular unit extraction or FUE in the Philippines. I started my FUE practice in 2009. On video is Dwayne Woolley, our FUE patient in 2016. Successful FUE hair transplant depends on the following factors. Physicians updated knowledge. FUE physician providers talent and skills. FUE technique producing intact quality FUE graphs. A well-trained surgical team. And most important of all, when you see your hair start growing, you know the procedure is successful. We have photo gallery showcasing our hair transplant before and after, hair transplant videos of patients' testimonials who are satisfied with their hair transplant results. Body hair transplant, on the other hand, is the most advanced FUE hair transplant procedure. And this is for those who want additional volume after scalp hair transplantation. This is Dwayne's testimonial after FUE procedures. Dr. Rambolo has produced an amazing result with my hair and a living testimony of her work. I'm super happy with the result. When I was younger, I was losing my hair. I got really depressed about it. I never thought I could get it back. But because of Dr. Arambolo and her team, I have a full head of hair.
Hey guys, it's me, Dwayne Woolley. I'm here right now at the Asian Hair Restoration Center with uh, Dr. Arambulo. Dr. Arambulo has operated on my head uh, doing a hair transplant three times now. So now I've got a full head of hair because of her. Before it was, it was gross, now it's complete and I'm super happy about it. So thank you very much, Dr. Arambulo, for all your help and your expertise.